What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Mac in three different ways and we're going to start off with the boot up. So you guys just saw a video of my iMac booting without me doing any of the tips I'm about to tell you guys. Um, 50.1 seconds is pretty slow and if you're like me and you want to speed it up you can do some of the tips I'm about to tell you now. Um, for example, you could if you don't use the widgets you have on dashboard you can always just go close them because they take up a lot of uh, processing speed and it's just not worth it to be honest because I never use dashboard. You can just go to the add button in the bottom left of your screen and then you could right, uh, well not right click, but you can just delete the widgets from your screen and you can see now it's a lot quicker at loading the dashboard. Uh, another thing you'll ski see with my desktop is that I'm running a live wallpaper from Geek Tool. Um, just head on over there if you want a live wallpaper like mine, but in this case it slows down your Mac quite a lot, so what I've done is that I've disabled it because then uh, when you boot up you don't have to load it every time and that can take quite a lot of uh, speed away from the boot up as well. And the last thing I'm going to tell you guys is the um, that you should actually select Mac OS X as your operating systems in preferences under um, boot up. And now I'm going to show you a video, another video of the boot up with all these tips that I've told you guys enabled. So right now what I'm going to show you are some general system tips in speeding up your Mac every day. Um, as you can see now I've got a lot of applications open that uh, I don't really need to use. Um, my desktop is very cluttered but always a good place to start is to take applications out of your dock that uh, you probably don't use. For example I don't use Geekbench or VLC or uTorrent or Front Row or chess so that kind of in itself does help a bit in uh, speeding up your Mac. Another thing you want to do to speed up uh, using your Mac would be to close any of the applications that you're not using right now which is what I'm going to do now like App Zapper. Bear in mind I've just done this in for purposes of this video I don't actually have all these open all the time but um, yeah and even if you did uh, cross it in the corner, like close it, you still have to right click and quit because you see they're still open actually but they're running in the background. So you could just quit, right click, quit all these like so. And if you have a cluttered desktop that could hurt your boot up time so what you want to do is be like me and organised. I've actually organized all my stuff into folders because that way I find it easier to navigate and find things instead of having a really cluttered desktop. Um, and another tip would be to um, delete applications that you're not using and time machine it like like so. This way, um, you know, it's a lot easier because if you're not say in your applications folder you're not really using all of these the ones you don't use that often you could delete and you could save it on time machine you can always get it back and that actually can speed up your Mac by quite a lot and um, 
yeah, those are some some general tips in speeding up your Mac's performance uh, every time you use it. And now I'm going to talk about the internet browsing. So the last thing you can do uh, is to speed up the performance of your internet browsers. For example, Safari, uh, Google Chrome, which are the two main ones I use. You might be using Firefox. I never really use Firefox, so I don't, I don't see what's so good about it, to be honest. But um, yeah. Um, anyway, to uh, increase um, performance of browsers, all you need to really do is, for example, with Safari, you just need to reset Safari and empty cache. That's pretty much it. You just need to delete all the saved passwords and uh, history cache that might be a problem for some of you like me because I've got all these saved internet pages that I use the most and if I was to reset Safari they'll go away and then it'll be blank and I won't be able to get it back but uh, another example is on Chrome all you have to do is clear browsing data and clear all these and then you know that speeds up the performance of your internet browser by quite a lot. I mean, you know, although Chrome for me is a really, really fast browser, it will get faster if you delete um, all the browsing data and cache because it has to load all that every time you open it. So um, that's about it um, for speeding up your Mac. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, come check out my other videos. I think you'll like it a lot. Um, and yeah, come to my channel. Come subscribe if you like me. Um, and that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.